have some big news. Uh, I actually got my virology uh, certification, even though it's Vedic. I've been working so hard for this. I started last month, and pretty much I was stuck in this lovely room doing everything that was needed to get this. Intensive pain in the tush, but I got it. So, I'm actually going to start doing kind of um, like step by step, kind of like how Capo Raj has gone about it. Like a certain plan and then this, and then a certain plan doing that, and this house, and the whatnot. I'm going to start doing that, and I'm going to start doing series it's like that. Though, it's going to be <clears throat> not only in terms for like saying how does this planet behave in this house, how does this planet behave in this sign, what happens when you put Saturn and Sun together and you just unleash a big whoops, for example. But the thing with um, divination devices and astrology being one of them, is that it's all done by perspective. So depending on the person's viewpoint, you can see something completely, absolutely different than, <clears throat> per se, how something is taught by the book. Good example, funny enough, is actually Saturn can be the planet that actually really helps you maintain and keep your marriage together. A lot of people are like, well, isn't he the one who destroys stuff? Mm hmm But he's also the one that gives longevity to stuff. So, of course, I'll be adding my my viewpoints onto each planet in there. And also bear in mind that somebody's analysis and viewpoint, well, yes, they should have something to back them up. They should actually also advise and also say that it has potential for this to happen or because of this but this planet sitting in right here and wherever it has potential for this to cause this because i'm not going to be one of those astrologers that likes to predict stuff as for me i'm one of those who think if you're going to be using <clears throat> astrology you should primarily use it to better yourself, understand yourself, and how to work with what you dealt with. Because if you're able to see where you're strong in, where you need to work on, and how you can best improve your life to the best living state possible, or in the state of moksha, if you can get to that point, really it doesn't matter what happens around you and the transits and predicting, but that's a different story. So. Oh, I'll also be very soon offering to actually put this boy to use. And primarily, I'm going to be really only doing readings for having the chart be drawn and actually an analyzed so that way you could best understand yourself in a general sense. And after some time, I'll even think about doing readings that actually involve a horoscope matching. And a lot of people are probably thinking like, oh, what? Right at the, right the get-go, pretty much, I'm going to be doing that. And now, please be advised of this too. Whatever I say and whatever I give counsel or advise with, you have to understand point blank you're the one who makes the choice. All I'm going to do is say, here's your strengths. This is the areas that need improvement. Anything is possible. You can definitely make anything work if you put the effort for it. And if you're willing to invest your 100% in it. But now, say, if I advise you, then afterwards you break off with that person and then you throw a hissy fit at me. Don't know what to tell you, but that's just life. Sometimes things happen, and it is what it is. But my advice is another viewpoint for you to look at and consider. Whatever you choose to do, or say if you and somebody were together, and then just a random breakup, um, 
how is it pretty much to my doing if a couple breaks up and all that I did was tell them, here is where you need to work on, work together as a unit to ensure it happens. But if two units can't work as one, they can't. And it is what it is. And that's why horoscope matching is very difficult to do because if you intervene, <clears throat> if you intervene on a relationship or a bond between two people, and if you say, mm, girl, you better not be with him because she's going to stab you in sleep. Break, they break off with one another, and then I, or the reader, gets, you know, a good hit upside the head by karma. And that's not a good idea. So let's not do that. So that's pretty much it. And um, when my uh, posting site is up, I'll post it down below. And I'll say when to send you know, emails and contact and whatnot, and then I guess I'll go on a chart to tell you how you are and how you can make sure that you go up and not face first on the ground. So that's pretty much it, and I will be looking forward to having a long, long set of months ahead of me making a video a day for every little thing that I can think of regarding those grahas up in the sky. So, anyway.